right? Um, you know, the, 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 uh, Miami goal, <laughs> how crappy is that? Yeah. Right. So that, Brad that, Guzan grabs the ball and he goes to kick it out and, and he was clearly interfered with. Yes. And right? so I went, had to go back and look, right. So by interfered with, uh, he is going to punt the ball and a guy does a forward jump into his path mm -hmm. and then kind of gets out of his way. But Brad goes to punt it, yep. realizes if he swings through it, he's going to kick the guy's back of his leg. So yep. he drops the ball and, yep. and doesn't follow through with his leg kick to hurt himself and or the player. The <laughs> ball bounces. They pass it, shoot it into a, a basically empty goal. And the referee, and says, the referee interference says interference foul, right? Yeah. He no, said, no, no, <laughs> no. The referee yeah, says, yeah. And the VAR, and the VAR upstairs does nothing. nothing. Over, I mean, such MLS. That is very MLS. Just, and it is, it, this is classic, classic, horrible refereeing. And I'll say that for a fact because it's letter of the law instead of spirit of the law. It is letter of the law. I went right. and looked up the rule. So, it's yes, like, he didn't make contact. So, technically, that's not a foul. But the spirit of the law is did the guy do something to interfere, interfere right. and prevent the play? And the answer is absolutely yes. 100%. So as a referee, you say, forget the letter of the law. You, I'm trying to keep the game fair. And the rule there is designed to keep the game fair. You can't interfere with the guy and, and prevent him from punting it. So yeah. it's just a no-brainer. That no is brainer. clearly a foul. Yeah. Period. Mm. So anyone out there who disagrees, well, you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, I usually, you know, I am. I will point out a and and be devil's advocate all day long even if it's against atlanta united 